Because we cannot get reelect, we cannot win this reelection. Excuse me, we can only reelect Donald Trump. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe, poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, the Bronx has made another made-up rally in honor of Donald Trump. I'd like to thank Mr. Joe Biden for finally uniting New Yorkers, okay? I have never seen so many people unite, maybe since uh 9-11. We have a lot of patriotic folks. We have black people Woo! with their flags dressed up in red, white, and blue. Hispanics are waving flags, Asians, everybody is starting to unite just like September 12th, 2001. Everybody is coming together in New York and it makes my heart flutters. Man, we have the governor of New York. She's big mad. She said it's a made up rally. Governor Kathy Holcomb. This is the same woman that says this about your Bronx. No. Young black kids growing up in the Bronx who don't even know what the word a computer is. They, they don't know. They don't know these things. Yeah. This is the same woman that says black people in the Bronx don't even know what a computer is. What? Yeah. Now, she sees the rally and she had to go a little further with her insults. She says this. Well, I'll tell you, it won't make a difference at all, Jake. And that is for Donald Trump to be the ringleader of a and invite all his clowns to a place like the Bronx. New York will never, ever support Donald Trump for president. We know him better than anyone, and that means we understand what he's all about is just for himself. So this state will go solidly behind Joe Biden for president as it has in the past. So he wants to spend his time uh, doing these made up fake rallies and pretending their support here. Be my guest because while you're doing that, Donald Trump, Joe Biden's out there on the other side, making sure he's delivering for all Americans. And so go ahead, spend all your time you want in New York, because we'll be with Joe Biden, and Joe Biden's out there winning over the rest of the battleground states. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You clowns. You clowns are supporting Donald Trump. You're just like a deplorable. All right. So thank you, Kathy Holcomb. Go sit your ass down somewhere. Now, this is the same district of AOC. And AOC, she's starting to lose support. Let's take a listen to some of her constituents. I'm originally from the Bronx and from New York. I'm from the Bronx. Right here in the Bronx, New York. This is home right here. AOC says if you're not a Democrat, you don't belong here in the Bronx. Right. What do you say? I disagree with that. I don't think she should be here in the Bronx. I actually don't know any Democrats living in the Bronx. Look, AOC, look at the su tremendous oh, support for Mr. Donald J. Trump. You need to tell her that she needs to stay out the Bronx because look at all the people around. Everybody's safe for Trump. I am a Democrat and I belong here. And who are you voting for? Donald J. Trump. What has AOC done for the Bronx? She's done nothing for the Bronx. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Nothing's gotten any better. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, AOC. Keep up with the insults. Keep insulting your constituents. He's doing it in the South Bronx, not to make a point, but because he's got court. And the man practically has the legal version of an ankle bracelet around him, and he can't leave the five boroughs because he always has to be in court. And so it is truly an embarrassment to him. And I am looking forward to the response of everyday Bronxites talking about how they feel about him coming to their back. Yeah. So we have... Rappers are coming up and coming on stage and praising Donald Trump. 
One thing I want to say, they always going to whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures. Trump going to shout the wins for all of us. Make America great again. I mean, guys, I don't believe what I'm seeing with my own eyes. Everybody's coming out. And even CNN, they started to get worried. And Anderson Cooper asked a question. What was the crowd like and what kind of response did he get? Well, certainly a bigger crowd than I think Democrats would like to see, particularly given this is one of the bluest counties in the entire country. Now, one of the things that was interesting to me is that the Trump campaign said that they were going to micro-target to get people from the community to come to this rally. I wasn't sure what to expect. I've gone to a lot of these rallies across the country, and there are often people who travel hundreds of miles to see Donald Trump, and they're not necessarily part of the community. However, one of the things that I found was that there were a lot of people here that were actually from the Bronx. I don't know what Trump is doing, but if he could turn New York from blue to red, man, that will shift everything. Jersey is next. If he could change those two states and break up that stronghold from the Democrats, man, it'll be a game changer for the next 20 years. Lift us up out of poverty. Keep your welfare. We don't want your welfare. We want jobs. Create jobs. Decent pay. And the one thing I like about Trump's rally or his message he's been saying ever since 2016, the first time he ran, is to make America great again. All Americans, make them great again. Under one platform, one idea, everybody work together, make it great again. Unlike the last administration, like Obama, hope and change, man, hope is not a strategy. Well, to watch the, the, uh, the Trump uh, gathering rally here. What do you think about him being here? I think it's great. I think it's dope. I, I well, from, from my generation, from what I know, this is the first time a uh, president has actually came to the hood. That's right. I know presidents have came to the Bronx before, but we're talking about Woodlawn, Riverdale. He has came to Morrisania, South Bronx. The hood hood. So I respect it. Yeah, so I see what Donald Trump is doing, and I love it. He's going down to the people. He's going to the quote unquote hood and show these people that there are, um, you are being heard. He's going down to the hood like in Atlanta and let them see, look, I'm a normal person too. I'm not a politician that's above, above it all. He's going down to the hood and showing and shaking hands with the folks. The politicians forgot about that. You work for the people. He's going down to the hood, show them a different outlook, show them a different opportunity, show them that, look, man, I am listening to y'all. Look at me. I'm here with y'all. I'm listening to y'all and not just for your vote. He's not going to give you the same uh, uh racism this and racism that and the, the black folks. And you got to work 10 times harder than the white folks. He ain't giving you all that. It's the same conversation to everybody. Make America first. And everything else fall into place. Against working together, there is nothing we cannot do and no height we cannot achieve. Together we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. We will make America great again. Thank you, Bronx. Thank you, New York. We love you. Thank you. God bless everybody. God bless you. God bless you. And so right now, I like to sing a song. I like to hear it. Well, here it goes. And I'm proud to be an American. Well, at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died. Who gave that right to me and I proudly stand up next to you and defender till this day. They ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. USA.
Oh, yeah. Shout out to you, Donald Trump. Shout out to you, my man. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on notification bell so you get my ladies and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your ass off my lawn.